Hey yo, everybody! I'm a Nick, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. On the last episode, we finished Rusty Bucket Bay and got the expansion for the Gold Feathers. And on today's episode, we're finally tackling this note door, so, uh, oof, that goes with that 640 note count. And now this room. Uh, my filthy bed gives me a rash. I never wash, I save my cash. Jesus, lady. So we're gonna put these new fangled gold feathers to use because uh, we're just gonna murder everything in our path. We did not need the upgrade for this, but it's nice to have. Also, hey, this bull again. And here's the final level of uh, grunty baddie levels. So they actually don't die in one rat -a tat rap and as I was thinking, we have ourselves a Brentilda. And I have my notes ready this time, even though I didn't actually uh, need them in the last se recording session. But here we go. Hey there, Brentilda. What do you got for me today? Uh, gruesome Brentilda's favorite pastime is flying radio controlled bats. Well, it's not really anything less like uh, flying drones nowadays. Uh, if anything, uh, Gruntilda would fit right in nowadays. It would be pretty fun now, wouldn't it? Alright, next up! What, what small debt you got for me? Uh, this poor guy called Greasy Grant was her first and only boyfriend. So tell me, uh, is this a reference to uh, a certain uh, Grant Kirkhope, the certain composer of this very game we are playing right here? It would certainly very, be very interesting if this random selection was one of those options. And what's the last piece of dirt you got for me? Because I think this is the last time I see you. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a mad vulture as a pet. So, does this thing have anything like mad cow disease or something? Because, uh... Damn. Okay. So that's all the dirt you got for me. I think this may be the last time we be seeing one another like this. So goodbye. I don't have to keep the fucking voice up anymore. Phew. Uh. I saw this was a trick you could do. Oh, I'm so close. I'm not gonna waste too much time on it. That's something I could do on my own time. Also, there's something a little peculiar di peculiar down here. Uh, yes, there's a cauldron down here. Uh, this particular one is for that one we met so long ago. And uh, truth be told, uh, I actually want to take that in just a moment because... Uh, my belly's big, it's rather neat. It's years since I have seen my feet. Fat ass witch. So this is the door to the last level in the entire game. And little would you know where, uh... Oh yeah, there's a shock jump pad right here too. Kinda hidden. There's a switch over there. I wanna go hit that. So we've actually seen the painting for this place already. It's just been a really uh, long time since we've been over there. At least uh, comparatively for this game. Also, I could open that note door, but I'm not yet. I could skip Click Clock Wood, but I don't feel like it. Oh yeah, we need to go this way too. Be Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna ignore those bees. We're gonna hit this. Remember this place? Yup, it's the painting for the final level in the game the entire time, those clever bastards. And now here's something I was remembering to do because uh, 
maybe not something I initially saw in the original version, but in the 360 version, thanks to the upgraded draw distance, there's a mumbo token right here. And I don't think I can get up there normally. Unless that's what I think it is. I'm just gonna take a quick look just to make sure I'm not going insane. Kazooie, please. Kazooie, please. Uh, that just brings it up to right here? Because... Okay, that's just there. Well, here's the thing. We're gonna go travel back to that one portrait, and thankfully... I could have used that other cauldron, but I don't feel like it, because the other one is so close by anyway. Because right here, it's not like it's gonna be too much hassle going to another screen. We will be using that cauldron to go back over there, though, because, uh... I won't take care... that's a shortcut I will take advantage of for the rest of this playthrough. This cauldron has officially been retired at this point. Getting out of the way of this bozo. We never have to go back to Treasure Trove Cove either. But right now, it's time to go splish. And yeah, I have my full list of uh, Grunty's dirt for this playthrough. This is going to be... Uh, Really satisfying when this all comes together. Just like this painting, which needed 15 pieces, goddamn. Welcome to Clip Clockwood, bitches. It's the longest level in the game. But I don't see it as much of a pain in the ass as a uh, rusty bucket. I'll just say that much. But it will sure be long. I'll put it out there. Mostly because there's a special gimmick to it, which I will be talking about in literally a moment. So, uh, hold on to your butts, because we're gonna be whooping through a cauldron. Like I've already been doing. So what the hell am I talking about? Uh, wait a minute, that's the way to Clanker. What the hell am I doing? I need to go through here. I've, it's been a little while, I've forgotten. Oh. All right, cauldron boy, warp me. There we go. Now we can finally get a move on to click clock wood. Oh my. Oh, routing out this on the fly is going to be something, that's for sure. Yes, there's a hub within the hub world. That is correct. And as you can see, there are four doors here. These represent, if you couldn't have guessed by the surrounding area, seasons. Yes, Click Clock Wood functions around uh, having the one area you explore change with the seasons. And you influence that by going through each of these doors. How do you see why this is the longest level in the game? Yeah, but I think it's actually rather cool. Even if, uh, what I'll show you in just a second might be excruciatingly painful. Plus, I love the music for this place. Goddamn. See this tree? We're going up it. Uh, oh, boy. Let's just say falling down from that is gonna fucking suck. Now I could high jump onto those, but I don't feel like it right now. That's also something we may have to do later. We can't do anything about that just yet. We may have to wait for another season or so. Also, here's a really annoying enemy. I don't know why it does a cutscene every time you kill them for the first time, but okay. Anyway, these guys, if you thought the previous wall enemies were annoying, these guys are faster. Oh dear God. And they may be responsible for making me fall from the tree. Oh Jesus. Oh holy Jesus. This is gonna suck a load of dicks. Let's put it out there. Also, these guys, they'll chomp your ass unless you're invulnerable. Otherwise, Stay off these things. 
if you if you know what's good for your ass. Speaking of what's good for Kazooie's ass, we haven't spit some eggs out of there in a while. Aside from, you know, filling the bucket to get in the sandcastle. So how about we just go and keep spitting eggs out until this happens. Look at this thing. We're gonna come back to this a bit later, but since we've done, since I've done that now, uh, we'll be checking back up on that in a, another season or so. Uh, okay, it's just a feather over here. Those will hurt. Those are thorns, obviously. Don't step on those unless you like pain. But for those who do like pain, well, sorry for you, here's some boots. My Bramble Field will make you yelp! And loss of lice, it surely does help! I did not say that right. I was just making sure there was something over there that, uh... I was just making sure to see if there was anything I could miss. I wish you could cancel these things, goddamn. And nothing up here. I think this is like one of the only Mambo Huts that doesn't have something on it. And I welcome you to the final transformation of the game. Uh, yeah. First things first, I'm just checking to make absolutely sure. My brain is just like, there's nothing up here except for some goddamn eggs. Let's pay up for one last time. Mumbo magic, much good. B is best yet. Oh, goddamn, is it? So, how about we go out and uh, test this form with infinite flight? Holy shit. Once again, you can steer better with uh, R. Please do. And I think I'm immune to fall damage. Also, I should be immune to the brambles. You can't just instantly fall out of it. You do have to land this fucker manually. Just gonna let you know that one. Let me go and get this mumbo token now. Because collecting it otherwise is going to be a pain in the ass. All you do is thread that A button to uh, keep ascending. There's a beehive over here with an entrance on it and also a mumbo token. Can I have that please? You know, I said very nicely, so let's have at it then. Because otherwise, you're just kind of slow, and that's going to be no fun. Bzzz. Hello, fat little bee. We zubbers are guarding Grunty's golden honey piece. We've been told there's a honey bear out there. All right, you dumbass bees. Let me fly around for a moment and collect a Jinjo that's in here. At least there should be, yes. I want this Jinjo asshole. And this is not the first time we'll be in here. Just gonna put it out there. So for now, let's just get out of here. I don't want to be covered in this honey-like goop. At least it's not moving. I'll get to that game later, don't you worry. Another one of the things you'll see out here is there's going to be a hut right here. It's under construction for now. Uh, land, little bee, land, so I can go and get the mumbo token and then continue flying around. Uh, also, those things won't snap at you while you're a bee. Rather convenient, though, if I do see so myself. And we'll have to get up here as Banjo and Kazooie because summertime's a bitch right now honestly Jesus and let me collect this mumbo token again because collecting things is good and there's a ginger over there right doing right doing this right now as a bee would be very convenient and yes we can continue ascending to a point where no banjo will go to in this season and unfortunately you can only be a bee in the springtime. I'll show you why. Uh, I'm trying to remember where... There it is. There's a Jiggy up here. And come on, bee. We need to steer into it. 
There we go. Also, no fall damage, yay! And uh, honestly, I don't wanna die because of how big this level is. Jesus. <laughs> Dying now is good. Suck. I don't need that right now. I really don't. So I think for now, I need to transform back into Banjo, but I won't really have to do any cuts since we're conveniently right near Mumbo's. And we can jump right over to the boots. So, that's neat. It's either that or try and high jump past the tentacle. Whatever works, really. And, alright, asshole. Transform me. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. We now need to make our way up the damn tree. Kazooie, if you will. Ooh, I almost missed that token. Thank you, draw distance, for not sucking too hard. I know I don't need to collect these anymore, but I'm doing it anyway because I can. All right. I think it's finally fucking time I go up this tree. Ah. Oh, it is right. But it's, oh, yes, I don't need to wear those boots anymore. Uh, I don't think there's anything else over here. This is the proper way I should be going up the tree. I'm not gonna deal with you right now. And just for a little bit of, uh, you know what, nah, I'm not gonna bother dealing with that right now. And we need to go up this steep way. I already collected most all the goodies and I should be running as banjo so I can do this and you know, not have to deal with them anymore. It's satisfying to beat these assholes. Oh, fuckles. Oh, fuckles. It's okay. It's okay. They dropped health. Whew. Good one. Toasty. Fuck! How about fuck? Fuck! If you want to be juvenile, that's what you can make those birds say. And I guess I'm just as juvenile as a teenager, I guess. At least in that mentality. Oh, boy. Let's try and not fall off the tree this time. I've done these kind of jumps before. I've kind of had you practice. But unfortunately, I'll have to be climbing the tree this way at least several more times throughout the game. And at least they give you a nice base to... Holy crap. That's what I don't like about springtime, is dealing with this shit. And if I rem... Ah, uh, damn it. I need to get a different view. I need to get a view from elsewhere. Because usually on one of these is, uh... There'll be a grunty switch down there later. So... I want to do that. But for now, let's take care of this asshole. Collect this and unlock summertime to go to. Because that'll be important. Also, I want to check this house right here. The door's open. Oh, son. Nabnut likes acorns. I'll just eat a few more. You know that's a bad idea, right? Just eating all of your stash like that? Sure would suck if something would happen to your nuts. And I don't mean in that fashion. But then again, I think someone else uh, may have something to say about those nuts. Hmm. Who'd have thunk it? Hmm. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. You know what else is tricky? This fucking camera snagging on stuff. Because that's an unfortunate habit of the N64 era. Cameras that snag on shit. Also, let's break this. Ah, me, eerie, mighty eagle. Need sleep now. We'll see you later. So right now, I have more shit to deal with. Like these... 
Uh, I don't know if I can interact with the door right now, but it's worth a look. It's worth a look, right? There we go. Yes, we totally can. Let's do this. If I remember correctly, it's nothing but tentacles and a certain something like a jiggy. Hmm. Also, I just want to check and make sure there's nothing else up here. I uh, can't deal with that right now. There's an extra life if I really wanted it. I mean, I might as well jump over here. Uh, there's nothing else here. We can't deal with this for now. And I'd I think I'd like to say we're pretty much done with springtime for now. I think this is just about everything else I think I can do. And this is going to suck if this doesn't fall in the water. Phew! Thank gods. I think the last thing we're going to do is interact with the beaver man just to get a dialogue box. Somebody move this boulder. Naughty kid, get in his house. That's correct. He can't get his ha in his house yet. But we'll be interacting with that very soon. You know what else I'm going to interact with? This damn thing so I can get my fucking token. And you know what? I think that's about it for today's episode. So... On today's episode of Banjo-Kazooie, we opened the way to Click Clock Wood and explored the springtime. And on the next episode, I think we'll tackle the summer. And with that, I'm Nick, and I'll see you guys next time.